so in lockdown first thing all did is how to connect with the, our families and friends right and how we can get recent updates so that is the first uh, problem we all are facing whenever lockdown started all of a sudden so we all are searching for some of the other mediums and we all have chosen one medium as a common is a whatsapp especially in india and that medium is whatsapp i myself started even for my projects also we have created groups in whatsapp and that the our primary medium for communication so that's how whatsapp become mainstream uh, social media for all of us and the interestingly it's 40% increase of usage in whatsapp we all have observed so today's theme is whatsapp pathway to better communication and now we will go with the theme of the uh, club so welcome all to 28 uh, 274th chapter meeting of barnet osmaster club our club provides the supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in a greater self confidence and personal growth so some of the rules we have to follow during this meeting so please mute your microphone when you are not speaking also rename yourself by prefixing with your meeting role or with tm for guest we are not a toastmaster please put your phone mobile phone on silent mode to avoid any disturbance when you are get chance to speak be cognizant of body movement multitasking and background use the chat box of any question for any for any questions or comments for feedback send it to one to one message only to the speaker please clap or use emoticon whenever the control is transferred when you begin speaking the correct protocol is that you have to greet in following manner good evening presiding officer toastmaster of the day fellow toastmaster and guests so today so let me welcome our energetic presiding officer toastmaster santosh for the meeting thank you toastmaster the best to start meeting so enthusiastic enthusiastic and with full of zeal allow me to call this meeting in order welcome to all at 273 chapter meeting at bane toast master club and very good evening district officers fellow toast masters and dear guest i can see that we have few guests i request them i request them unmute them themselves and introduce themselves and mention two things how to get to you know about this club and what are their expectation from this meeting so let's go with guest sarda good evening good evening i came i think so two months ago i just once i attended this meeting yes and after that some or other things kept me busy i couldn't mm -hmm. attend and but it was always back of my mind yeah i have to attend and see and because i'm in process of joining the club so i'm just trying to observe what is good and what can we learn from each other so toastmaster is the forum where wherever whichever club we join but you are going to learn 
So just for that, for learning something new, something better, I just thought to attend this meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sada, sharing your views. And definitely the platform, this platform provides a lot of learning, no matter who you are and what is your age and what is your occupation. <laughs> now, moving on. Anyone? Do we have any guest? Okay, no problem. So let me <clears throat> let me emphasize and let me just tell about the about the Toastmasters and International Toastmasters so that guests can have better idea. International Toastmaster is a non-profit organization and it helps to develop three things to everyone. What are the three things? These are communications. Second is public speaking. And third is a very important skills, leadership. leadership skills. And it has the global footprint. Means that this is the Toastmaster International available across the world means that more than 145 country, more than 60,000 club and 300,000 active member like us. And I feel very proud that I am part of this big family. If you believe that leadership and communications are, are these two skills are very important for your personality, for your growth as a professionals and personal, then please connect our VPM Toastmaster Shivani. She will help you to understand more about International Toastmasters Organization and Bane Toastmaster Club. With this, time to speak on theme. What an interesting theme. Hey, what's up? This word and app were new for me before the demonetization. Yes, demonetization. During that time, those days, I used WhatsApp only two regions. That is to know where is the cash in ATM and what are the address. But during the lockdown, I use this toast, I use this WhatsApp app for various tasks and various activities like ordering my vegetables, ordering food, ordering milk, transfer, transferring important documents to my office colleagues, getting important information, sharing important information, non-important information, also entertaining information. So if I summarize what I what is my journey with the with the WhatsApp app, then I would say that from Notebandi to Lokbandi and Lokbandi to Kambandi. Let me translate in English. My journey starts with WhatsApp app from demonetization, then lockdown, and then work from home. But today, we have someone who is BBA student in a mighty college. He's very enthusiastic and energetic Toastmaster. He will take all of us on various dimension of the workshop and memory of lockdowns. So please welcome energetic and enthusiastic Toastmaster says on the virtual stage. Toastmaster says. Thank you so much Toastmaster Santosh. Hello everyone, welcome to the Barney Toastmasters meeting. I am the Toastmaster of the day for today's meeting. Quickly, before proceeding towards the theme, let me explain you the agenda of the meeting. The, there are three sections of agenda. Firstly, speeches. Secondly, table topics. And thirdly, evaluations. In speeches, we have three speakers who are going to speak and give speeches in table topics. There are impromptu speeches and exciting speeches that table topic master is going to allot. And in third evaluations, Three evaluators are going to evaluate all the speakers. Now, proceeding towards the theme, I have a theme 
how WhatsApp became essential for all of us in our lockdown days, in our pandemic days. Earlier, let me give me my example. I do not used to use WhatsApp much because there was physical communication. There was many friends who used to talk me in front of me. So there was no need of WhatsApp, Telegram, or any messages, chats. Only we used to call through the technology. Now, in the pandemic situation, we were compelled to sit at the home. We used to feel very drowsy in sitting in home at one place, not to meet any friends or relatives. I wanted to have one rant away with my relative or friend, but no, I couldn't. As there was a rule from government of our India, there will be lockdown for six and months and maybe a year. So what I did was I started using WhatsApp since my first year of MIT college, we made a group. And the most important and interesting fact is that 100 people were there in our group. And we used to chat at a time, at an hour, 50, 60 people used to say, hi, hello, oops, hi, buddy, and all that. Has this happened with any one of you during your college office days that you come at a time with a group on WhatsApp to speak, any one of you? Can raise hand. Can you yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Can you contribute? Ah, uh, yes. So yeah. recently we had a group presentation, and various groups were presenting. So uh, the the group one was going to present, and we were like group three or group four, and throughout the entire presentation, we were constantly sharing messages here and there. That hey, look, what are they saying? Hey, okay, keep track of this thing. Okay, they are doing this good. Okay, don't do this. Okay, they have got this spelling wrong. So there are like over hundred, two hundred messages throughout their entire presentation, and yeah, I think that was a lot of jokes were also passed in that. So that was my experience. Great. I had the same experience as of you. As I would like to tell you that Aha Counter Agwait is from my college and I was same at that time, at that spot, at that moment. Maybe he's talking about the training which we took. Okay. Great, Agwait. I like that. Now coming towards, I would like to tell you some merits, demerits, how WhatsApp helped us in our pandemic and lockdown situation. Firstly, let us take example of Toastmaster that how we can conduct meetings in lockdown. Yes, there is Zoom, there is Google Meet, but how do we conduct it? How do we notify that meetings will be conducted within days or two days or weeks? It is only through WhatsApp. There are other apps like Telegram, but people are not more engaged in Telegram. WhatsApp has the most compatibility and capacity to use and send messages over the people, over the districts and over the nations. WhatsApp is very essential for all of us. And while we sit at a chair and suppose I take my mobile, I can see at a WhatsApp. I can see what notifications are there in my mobile phones. I can see that, yes, for example, this, this notifications, there will be a cricket match tomorrow and I want to go for it. Book it within an hour. I'll book it directly and I'll get a booking seat. How WhatsApp is you helpful for us? This is the first point. Now coming towards the second point, WhatsApp also makes our relationship more stronger. It does not distract our communication. If we are in lockdown, still we cannot meet friends or relatives. We think they will ditch us as we cannot communicate with them. They will forget us. But no, WhatsApp is essential for us to communicate with them and maintain our relations with them, maintain our friendship with them. Then coming towards the third point of WhatsApp, it is helpful for us as it does not distract our communication. We can communicate only the thing that lacks and missing. Can you guess what it is? We can communicate same as we used to communicate through physical mode. Can anyone of you guess in WhatsApp, what is missing, what lacks during communication? Anyone of you? It would be great. Expression, I think so. Expression, yeah. More? Touch and, touch and feeling. Yes, perfect. Touch and feeling. And the most Human important... Touch. Yes, anyone wants to contribute? Human touch. Human touch, yes. perfect. Physical touch. 
physical touch perfect and the most important that i had was body gesture eye contact that is very important we do not understand the feelings and emotions without communication only by communication we can understand their decisions and consents and other things but we cannot know their mind what is going in their mind for example can you guess what is going in my mind yeah due to my eye contact and facial expression you can mention you can guess that i am some a bit quivered with fear as i have taken tmod role it was done in my first meeting of tmod role yeah i quivered with fear but later no i was confident and enthusiastic let's talk about now some demerits during the pandemic situation if i started using whatsapp only the thing was that i faced issue in my eyes because my doctor had told me that not to look much tv shows much whatsapps and much mobile phones due to this what happened i was avoided with communication still i didn't give up whatever if someone dugs us in the sand or in the mouth in the flow we come up with some idea or some initiative we are creative that much then what i did was i set a routine that in morning 7 to 9 pm i'll use whatsapp i'll communicate with my friends and relatives later on i won't communicate at a day and i'll tell them that if you want to say something important only in that time tell me this was the greatest idea of my mind which i gave them due to this there was no distraction and no avoidance communication was not avoided at all this is from all from my side the rest the things which i am going to tell you after the speeches or evaluation after the each section and also at the end are very exciting and much exciting that you will also like it that how communication supported your communication and your relations with your friends or relatives let's before proceeding towards the further speech further theme ideas i would like to hand over the stage to our general evaluator who is b tech student he likes bike riding and he is the important person in toastmaster why he is the vice president member of srkr toastmaster club who is none other than toastmaster shri shravan kumar may i call toastmaster shri shravan kumar on the stage to call upon him as well as his tech team toastmaster shri shravan kumar over to you stage is yours thank you toastmaster of the day for that brief introduction i was surprised for that introduction and thanks for everyone good afternoon hello everyone i am toastmaster shri shravan kumar from sr care toastmasters club as the toastmaster of the day said i am the general evaluator for the meet for the benefit of the guests i will repeat what a general evaluator does in the meeting while well, yes he embarrasses many of us yes also he what is the mistakes done by the speaker he was anyone in any role player take it in the meeting we, i can't do this alone because i am not a superman in this meeting with this i am having a super team called tag team where steeper timer timer harshad patel harshad patel is a computer engineering student from pune he is interested in an interesting thing he is he is interested in astronomy and space exploration so please help me to call upon the stage timer harshad patel hello everyone good evening to all my fellow toastmasters and your guest uh, there is timing in everything timing in strategy cannot be mastered without great deal of practice so i am playing the role of timer and i will keep track of timing throughout the meeting for prepared speeches uh, i will show the green card at the minimum specified time the yellow card at the target time and the red card at the maximum specified time and there is a grace period of 30 seconds for prepared speeches then the second section of our meeting will be table topic speeches and uh, table topics are for 1 to 2 minutes i will show green card at 1 minute the yellow card at 1 and 1/2 minute and the red card at 2 minutes and speaker also uh, will have 30 second grace period in this section as well 
third section will be for speech evaluation and uh, this is for two to three minutes i will show green card at two minutes yellow card at two and a half minutes and red card at three minutes speaker will have grace period for 30 seconds as well i will present my report when called upon during the meeting over to you toast my uh, general evaluator thank, thank you. you timer could you please confirm that you can share the screen yes yeah and without any delay let me call upon the next my tag team a for accounter accounter advait a student of computer application he is interested in juggling and analyzing graphs so please call upon the stage accounter advait good afternoon each and every one as the accounter i will be keeping track of all the filler words which we often tend to use while speaking these filler words are a uh, um so a eh, a long pause and various other forms of filler words which can somehow not make our message clear to the people who are listening to us or give the impression that we are not completely prepared with or completely understanding of what we are trying to say so i will be keeping a track of that and i will be sharing it with you later on in the meeting i hand it back to you general evaluator thank you advait for your crisp report information and without any delay let us call upon my english teacher sorry no the word master of the game thank you general evaluator uh good evening again district officer fellow to masters and guest as a language evaluators my responsibility to listen listen everything that has been said during this meeting and note and report every effective use of language and note down incorrect grammatically incorrect speech now apart from this my responsibility also present the word of day and phrase of the day so word of day is solitary and it is as a, we will going to use as a adjective the meaning of this done along without other people since the theme is locked down so this word is related to along and without the doing anything helping of the people so use of this writing novel is a solitary occupation anyone would like to use or give the example no issue ah uh, even uh, sorry i i just would i would like to give a try on that yes so, please welcome uh, uh so uh, most of the sports activities are uh, can be conducted in a group uh, as a group activity but even though you plan to uh, conduct a group activity of uh, cycling but mm -hmm. end of the day it's a solitary activity it's you only who will drive well said sure yeah well said well said so big round of applause applause now our word phrase of day little bit ji that is along the lines of so what is the meaning of it it is meaning of similar type when we use this we have to keep in mind that we are not use it as a compare the example of along the lines of telegram app is good but i was expecting something along the line of whatsapp so any would anyone would like to use along the line no problem uh, again yeah uh, please again i would uh, like to give a try so sure. swimming in the society pool is good but somewhere it doesn't give uh, that satisfaction along the line of uh, stadium swimming pool or something perfect perfect so with this i request i urge everyone to use the word of day and phrase of day whenever they get the chance to speak on this meeting 
and same, same time so the thumbs up and send the emoticon if speaker use word of day and phrase of day in their sentence or speeches with this over to general valuta thank you santosh thank you santosh for this very crisp clear information that's all from our side we will be back with our report over to you toshmash of the day sir thank you so much general valuta sri shaman thank you so much for the tag team great efforts you have taken okay hence so now i would like to in inform you that we are proceeding towards the next speech before that i would like to tell you that whatsapp is much solitary use as anyone can use it during the lockdown days or days especially let's proceed towards the speech sections as whatsapp can help us to speak during the voice audio or note audio in the whatsapp but it cannot help us to see the video through the whatsapp there is missing of lack it lacks body gestures eye contacts and other things let's have this prepared speeches we have three speakers first speaker is tosh master aditi she is a ayurveda doctor and she likes painting let me call tosh master aditi before calling her i would like to call her evaluator tosh master avinash i guess avinash evaluator one avinash is the senior manager at worthy he likes gardening as well as playing flute toastmaster evaluator one toastmaster avinash can you please come on the stage to introduce the purpose of the speaker speech over to you yeah thank you toastmaster sahish <clears throat> the purpose purpose of the speech is to deliver the uh, speech on any topic receive the feedback and apply the, those feedback to her his or her second speech so that's the purpose of this speech over to you and i wish good luck to my uh, target speaker thank you so much evaluator toastmaster avinash now toastmaster aditi would be delivering her speech she is the first speaker and the title is festivals of india toastmaster aditi be ready title is festivals of india festivals of india toastmaster aditi over to you am i audible and visible yes you are Emma, you can start. Festivals, uh, festivals are a way which brings a uh, enthusiasm and exuberance to our life. Festivals, this week only we observe the Bal Krishna Janmashtami, which is the birth of mighty and mysterious Krishna. And next week we will welcome Ganesh Ji to our houses with enthusiasm. i am eagerly waiting for it aren't you i can feel the celebration is in air as the all festivals are all around good evening presiding officer toast master of the day fellow toast master and guest festivals are to indian culture what the spices are to indian cuisine they are big way of celebration be it a lightning diya in a diwali or a ringing bell in a christmas each and every festival is welcome in india with a big celebration and uh we bid and vivacious festivals depict a richness of indian culture they give us a message they teach us and celebrate the good values of our life such as morality and ethics if we closely observe the rituals we traditionally follow in a festivals we will understand that our ancestor has made this arrangement very wisely which will benefit our body as well as our mind for example we follow shravan mass that is fasting during rainy season because during rainy season our digestion is at low and fasting will boost our digestive system we eat neem leaves on gudi padwa eating neem leaves in that particular season is extremely beneficial for our body and then we chant and pray it's a kind of a meditation which gives us mental clarity and peace again uh, we use of flowers and soft music during festivals 
considering the aromatherapy and music therapy, which has a great impact on our mind. So there are many festivals. No one exactly know how many festivals are there because they differ from region wise and religion wise. But let's have a look on the major festivals of India. But before that, let me ask you, which is your favorite festival and how do you celebrate in one or two lines? Anyone? It's my yes, festival. Toastmaster <coughs> We celebrate Raksha Bandhan and how do we celebrate? We distribute many chocolates in our relatives and neighborhoods. That is the greatest way of celebrating Raksha Bandhan. Right, right. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Shais, for sharing. Yes, we recently observed the Raksha Bandhan. And it is the festival strengthening the bond of kinship, signifying the brothers and sisters uh, bond, and which also bears a gift. <laughs> and next week coming a Ganesh festival. This festival celebrates the arrival of Lord Ganesha on earth. We all know that Lord Ganesha is a god of new beginning and he is a Vignaharta, which is a remover of obstacles. Then he is a god of wisdom and intelligence. And therefore, before beginning any new task or auspicious task, we pray Lord Ganesha. On Ganesh Chaturthi, we install the Ganesh idols at our home or outdoors in a pandals. And all the stained days, uh, various uh, activities such as a singing, dancing, theater, social activities are held. And on the last day, we immerse the idol in a water body. After Ganesh festival comes Navratri. Navratri. Nine days of fast, faith, and devotion. Navratri represents the celebration of Goddess Durga, which is a symbol of power in a nine different forms. And during the night, we play famous dance, uh, that is Dandiya. And on the 10th day, that is the Dashahara, celebrates the death of Daman Ravan at the hands of Lord Ram. After that comes a most awaited a festival. Yes, festival of Diyas. This festival in India is celebrated with a lot of pomp and show. A day long preparation, we clean our houses and we decorate it. And my favorite is shopping. Then we uh, prepare sweets, we share sweets with friends, family. And uh, this uh, festival send out the message that we should dispel the darkness from our life. Uh, then Eid. Eid is important festival of India. On Eid, the people dress up in fineries and attend prayers. And I remember visiting my friend every year to have a mouth-watering shirkurma. Then comes Christmas. Christmas is celebrated across the world and as well as in India. We decorate the Christmas tree and lit up our houses. Then Gudi Padwa, marking the uh, beginning of auspicious new year. At, uh, at this festival, people make Gudi and uh, hang, hang them in, at the entrance and pray Lord Vishnu. Last but not least, our national festival, Republic Day and Independence Day. These festivals were the patriotism amidst the citizen at its peak. So the festivals just name arouses the feeling of happiness and joyful. Festivals which bring the family friends together and make the strong bond and shows that unity in diversity. Festivals which convey message, a significant message with a cheerful manner. So festivals brings the happiness, hope, hope, optimism, joy, and many more pleasant things in our life. Thank you. Wishing uh, you all a happy Ganesh Chaturthi in advance. Ganpati Bappa Moria. Thank you. Okay.
I request timer to sh stop this screen, please. Thank you so much. Great speech, Toastmaster speaker Aditi. You gave the good festivals of India and also the some gods and goddess. It rejuvenated all of us. Great. Thank you. And as Thank they you. are upcoming for nowadays, as now Ganesh Chaturi and all that. Great. Yes. You, you had a great idea of that, and I like it. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I would like to mention you that any tactics which is even solitary without a teacher, it cannot be done. Now, I am going to give the fact about this after these speeches. For the second speech, which I will be proceeding, who is Toastmaster Manisha, who is giving a second speech. As I'm not aware of her introduction, let it be. I would like to appreciate her uh, to introduce herself and hence give the speech. Uh, Toastmaster Manisha, can you introduce her, yourself? Uh, thank you, Sesh, and I'm Dr. Manisha Saxena. I uh, am the Dean at ICFI Business School and a faculty member for Organizational Behavior and Human Resource Management. Uh, I've been a bit irregular in attending the Toastmasters. So I've actually come after quite a good time now, so I hope to continue. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Speaker Manisha. Now, Toastmaster Speaker Manisha is delivering her second speech for purpose and level introduction of her speech, I would like to call her evaluator, Toastmaster Divesh, who is who likes painting same as Toastmaster Aditi. And he is, I guess, IT profession, is working in software company as an IT profession. I would like to call Toastmaster Divesh to introduce a purpose of the speech. Toastmaster Divesh, over to you. Thank you, TMOD Sesh. The purpose of this project is for the member to introduce or review basic presentation software strategy for creating and using the slide to support or enhance the speech. Over to you, Amori. Thank you so much. Toastmaster Speaker Manisha, be ready for the topic as it would be very solicitary. The topic for you is stress, bring it on. Toastmaster Manisha, stress, bring it, bring it on. Toastmaster Manisha, over to you. Thank you. I actually need to share my screen because it's on the presentation software. So okay, you timer, you can yeah. text the timing in cards. Yeah. So that we'll be able to. Okay. okay. Yeah. Could you please I'll enable the uh, screen sharing? Yes, please. Can you please enable the screen sharing? No, you somebody. already, yes. You can easily uh, screen share. Okay. Yeah. I guess timer has uh, some queries. Yeah, timer, uh, you can uh, take the timing in the chat. Master Manisha, I'll be uh, showing timer cards in virtual background so you can pin my screen. Okay. So, just, a, just a minute. Just a minute. I'm not able to do that. Let me just stop. Give me one minute, please. Yeah, who was the timer? I'm sorry. First, I'll pin your screen. It's me. Yeah. Yeah, just so I, I'm not able to pin your screen. Doesn't give me that. Right. Okay, now where is I'll share timing in chat box also. Also. Okay, fine. Yeah. That may not work actually, Manisha. I think uh... It will be difficult to, I mean, see the chat box. So I, I suggest. Yeah, because I'll be moving it into F5. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, Santos, can you just make her, uh, you know, for a moment, for a moment, uh, can yeah. you just can you make it? Toastmaster Man Manisha, you can see the gallery and from there you can uh, pin Harshada. Just a minute. Uh, view in a gallery. Yeah. And then see the Harshada Patil. Timer Harshada. Correct. Yeah. Perfect. Is it? It's only giving me two options chat or hide non video participants. It's okay. Uh, it's yeah, okay. Can please, I would suggest if the timer can turn the video on, only then, uh, you know, participant will be able to. In. Otherwise, it not be possible. Timer, Toastmaster, Arshada, if you can turn your video on for the speech alone, I think yes. it will help you, Toastmaster yes. Manisha. Yeah. 
it only gives me the chat option still okay yeah it can spotlight harshada so much uh, it's still giving me the only chat option only it's not giving me it's not allowing me to pin okay, i i think i think uh, that's because we've spotlighted manisha can we take the spotlight off her i think maybe then she'll be able to pin postmaster devesh uh, or no i am not uh, so let, who is, let, let me i let me do let me do yeah, okay no it won't work sorry toast master it's not work yes i think it's not work right pin option is not available for anyone okay. and i think right. that's because of a yeah. setting so what i'll do my own typing setting then probably so that i am just aware that yeah. or hasta you can also uh, <clears throat> set your time on a device yes i'll do okay so just let me know if i am audible and visible to all of you yes you are yes okay so i'm starting now thank you so my paper guy has not come neither has my milkman my maid is getting on my nerves and so is my boss my kids refuse to listen to me and my peers are no different oh everything is so frustrating respected presiding officer toast master of the day fellow toast masters and dear guests i wish i sincerely wish i had a magic wand and which could solve all my problems and make me at peace so stress bring it on and we will see so what is this stress that stressing us all where does it emanate from and can i do something about it let's see a dynamic condition which gives us an opportunity along with constraints to achieve what we actually want to achieve the outcome is very important to us but unfortunately uncertain and hence the pressure and when this stress strikes it leaves no part of our internal body untouched from nervous system to gastrointestinal system everything goes for a toss so tell me what are your stresses anyone what stresses you uh not ac accomplishing anything on the time this okay. please <laughs> okay yes so there are a lot of external forces you you are concerned with politics in afghanistan the economical gdp the millennial social generation the whatsapp technology the legal issues the global warming in our environment and what not our own factors that lie in the organizations which we work in by the way are you predisposed to being stressed about everything talking about students life students have a heap of issues from so being solitary to exams to responsibility to relationships there are so many things that are in our area of concern we are worried about we are bothered we are frustrated but how much can we influence each one of them there are things there are very few things we can actually influence so stress seems to be very bad doesn't it Yerks and Dodson completely differ. According to them, no stress, no performance. More stress, more performance. But hold it, you cannot continue more stress, more performance indefinitely. There is an optimal level beyond which the used stress gets converted into a distress. And hence, let me tell you that. salt is sorry stress is like salt the right amount enhances the taste but the moment it goes beyond a certain limit it becomes fatal so what do i do so many things to do and so not enough time at all let's try and use the 4d principle for stress management do things that require your expertise and delegate the rest not 
everything is a matter of urgency. So delay it. And if you do not do a lot many things in your life, the hell is not going to break loose. So delete them. And probably this time management is going to help you release your stress. It's important that one engages in a dialogue. And why don't we utilize and have fun with what we actually love to do? Whether it's music, whether it's singing, dancing, exercising, meditation, cooking, anything. And don't forget to laugh enough, whether it is with books, shows, movies, anything. Anything that makes you laugh and that makes you smile is worth the thing to do. It's worth your time. So I would like to share a very beautiful song before uh, I uh, finish off this uh, issue on stress and dealing with stress. And I hope you enjoy it. And I would like all of you also to join in the song and sing it. along. Thank you. Thank you so much. Toastmaster Speaker Manisha, the greatest speech you gave, and it is very difficult that this much speaker is not courageous as you were. You gave a video song for all of us, and it enhanced us, it freshened us, our mind, and really it freshened my stress. <laughs> Great. Now, calling towards the third speaker. Third speaker is a very special person from my point of view is Toastmaster Sanjay. He is the club growth area director, club growth director, I mean, of District 98. Along with that, he likes bike riding and also he likes traveling and he is working in Mahindra LTD. He is a very passionate public speaker and he has many, won many awards in public speaking and he, he has nearly continued or conducted 28 educational sessions over many clubs of Toastmaster in many districts. Let me call Speaker Sanjay for his speech. Before calling him, I would like to call someone who is the member, who is the Vice President Education of Pippa at Toastmaster Club. And he likes gaming, mythology, and cooking. Now, I would like to call him Evaluator 3, Toastmaster Vamsi, to introduce the purpose of the speech of Speaker Sanjay. Toastmaster Vamsi, stage is yours. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Science. Toastmaster Sanjay is going to deliver an amazing icebreaker today. The purpose of the speech is for the member to introduce himself to the club and learn the basic structure of the speech. I think this part, you are introducing something amazing to us. All the best, Toastmaster Sanjay. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Ramsey. Now, calling towards this speaker, third speaker, to listen his speech and listen and guess the objective of his speech. I would like to introduce the title of the speech. Toastmaster Sanjay, who are you? Who are you, Toastmaster Sanjay? Over to you. 
उस मास्टर द रेस साइश आई यू आस्किंग हु आई एम व्हेन हियर इट गोस एन एस्पायरिंग लीडर अ बडिंग पब्लिक स्पीकर आई एस्पायर टू मेक अ डिफरेंस ऑल ऑफ द क्लब मेंबर्स दिस साउंड्स फैमिलियर does this sound like the same old boring introduction you've been listening for days and weeks together meeting after meeting i'm definitely not here to read out something as a part of my bio and i really appreciate our toastmasters day for not stealing all of the thunder from my icebreaker and introducing only in a very subtle manner i just turned 25 years old i think this was an important fact for me to start with to realize and feel that i'm growing old year by after year that's the case with most of us 25 years back i was born in this beautiful hill station that is referred to as the queen of hills uttakamand or what is fondly known amongst people as uti born to lovely parents two years later i was blessed i was blessed with a younger brother now it was a small family of four and obviously i had my grandmother back then and my entire childhood was spent growing up with my grandmother i remember the times climbing on her shoulders all the while and taking a walk around it felt like a picnic almost every day well what was even more amazing was from the top of her shoulder the entire world seemed like an amazing place to me now as i grew up and started going to school i realized that i was this shy and not so social person who was always confined to his books the only thing that i was bothered about was i me and myself well obviously i had education to focus on at that point in time now as i grew up a series of experiences transformed the way i looked at life something extraordinary happened when i was in class 9 or class 10 rather that happens to most of us in school well i fell in love with a girl now little did i know back then that this would be the journey for the rest of my life and i'll come back to talk a little about where this really went ahead now coming from such a small town with very little exposure of what opportunities lie ahead i had my entire schooling completed in uti and then it was time for this bird to set free outside my hometown like my father always used to say and now we want to go out of our hands and explore the outside world i remember the first day at college when my father dropped me at the premises at the hostel and was leaving back i had tears dropping from my eyes i had no idea why i was so emotional was it the fact that i was going to miss my family or was i scared and dreaded to take on this new adventure this new life that i was stepping into a little secret here i had severe inferiority complex when i joined college the reasons are obvious all of us are so stuck in this rat race we want to get somewhere we want to achieve something and those were the exact questions i was battling in my mind will i be a good engineer will i fit in to this system of all the members who are studying so well people who scored so amazingly well in their class 12 and i being this small town boy coming in with just average knowledge and average experience little did i know that four years of college would transform my life into something wonderful i did not mention a fact that i was a topper when i was in class 10 and class 12 well if you ask me why i didn't talk about it i'm sure all of you would agree it doesn't matter today when i started off with my engineering i realized that engineering was something that was very interesting something that i loved but i found something that i loved a little more well this time obviously it was not a girl that happened once already this time it was my passion towards leadership my passion towards communication towards organizing events so on and so forth now as i went along i realized that i have a passion to really really work with people and i took on leadership roles as a part of my student activities council in my third year in engineering i led a team of 80 members to conduct various successful events and transform the way i looked at life the way i looked at leadership and communication toastmasters started a little later toastmaster of the day sayesh did mention that biking is one of my hobbies well a little secret here as well i was extremely afraid and scared of riding a bike because i always thought i'll never be able to handle 
the transition of the clutch, the brake, the accelerator and all of the gears, I felt it was too complicated. Several attempts I failed. And fortunately, when I got to Pune, there was a friend of mine who taught me how to ride a bike. Now, all of us go through these experiences, right? You ask people, hey, what to do now? Which, which gear to shift? How, how hard should I accelerate? How hard should I brake? Now, after days and months together, I conquered that fear. And today, I call myself a proud or an amateur avid biker. Well, that's my journey in a nutshell of what I have done right from my childhood to here. I see the red card is coming up. And that reminds me that life is extremely short. I didn't mention I turned 25 years old, but it was extremely difficult for me to summarize my journey in almost six minutes. My dear friends, there are a lot of facts that we know about each other. Some we don't. It's only left for us to understand. Well, is there anything in common between you and I? If yes, do drop me a note. If not, still drop me a note and let's figure out, let's try and identify something that's common. Who are you, Toastmaster of the day? Thank you. Your yeah, timer is finished. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker Sanjay. Yes, well, I had such an inferiority complex when I came into MIT college, all were toppers. And I was not the top, it's the moderate person gaining minor marks in any subjects, like maths. Let's take example of accounting or financial accounting or cost accounting, mostly in accounting subjects. Letter, as no gain without pain, we can suffer in order to compare ourselves with the talkers. I had suffered a lot. Only the WhatsApp was the way through which I studied a lot, through which I got many notifications and I become a volunteer for one month by my professor. And I, it was, the condition was worse for all the students. Why? Because they used to tease that why I do not study much. The thing was, I became the volunteer in order to tell them these are the studies and these are the assignments mentioned to all of you that you have to do. And they remained quiet after that. Their ego broke due to this. I would like to mention you that as we have done with the, all the three speaker sections, three speeches, I have one more content and topic for all of you. What is it? Can we guess? Yeah, it is about a teacher. When I started doing yoga classes, a teacher was in front of me. How he can be in front of me? It is not possible in COVID and in lockdown days. Police were there, ratings were there, prayers were there. Still, how he can be in front of me? He was in front of me through online mode, through WhatsApp call. What would be the change? It would be the change that it was not solicitary for me to do yoga without him, without his physical touch, without his physical support. How to do poses? He can only make me to do pose. Even if I feel pain, I suffer a lot. For example, let's take someone of you who are doing gymnasium. Your mentor makes you to suffer a lot, to run you from far away to pathway. And to pick up the dumbbells of nearly 50 kg dumbbells. Due to this, you receive a pain in your shoulder, in your arms, and sometimes in your chest. It happens with me. The thing is that due to WhatsApp, my mentor only used to show me how to do this and how to do that. And it later on became solicitary for me. Why? Because I was inclined more towards the communication and more towards the respect of a teacher. Even if he was not there to nag me how to do this, you cannot do this, you have to do this. Still, I was self-dependable. I became it. I became more inclined and hence I started doing many poses, very difficult poses with meticulous care. Look at this. I started doing yoga in much efficient way that my mentor was surprised, yoga mentor. Even if he's from online mode, he used to complain that he is not working offline with me. How can you improve? But I improved. This was all due to the WhatsApp. What is the main reason that I improved? Communication. I got inclined more towards the communication of my mentor that how you will do this, 
take the pose this take the pose in the right side and i got in towards the communication and i started doing the pose in very efficient manner let's come upon towards the next session which is table topics for table topics which is very exciting theme and where impromptu speeches are conducted where you have to think on your feet i have someone from the bivadi toast master club who is a btech student at bits pilani of hyderabad campus she likes same hobbies as of me which is swimming and reading which i like too let's welcome toast master khushrin for conducting table topics sessions and explaining the objectives of speeches that is whatever she must have come up with toast master khushrin over to you the stage is yours thank you toast master of the day good evening presiding officer toast master of the day fellow toast masters and dear guests the purpose of the table topic session is to have members practice their thinking and speaking on their feet the impromptu speaking helps to develop four communication skills listening thinking organizing and delivering to help you practice today i have prepared a few topics in line with the theme of the meeting that will hopefully help you to meet this goal toastmaster clubs have a tradition of getting as many people as possible to speak in one meeting the table topics round tries to uphold this value by providing everyone an opportunity to speak and therefore i would encourage everyone to please give it a try i would also reiterate what the language evaluator said and request everyone to please use the word of the day and the idiom of the day i will now share my screen for to pre present can you confirm if you can see it yes yes so today i have prepared 10 topics and as and when somebody volunteers for the table topic session you can choose one out of those 10 topics now your topics would be an impromptu speech that will take place for about 1 to 2 minutes and like i like i said please try and use the word of the day and the idiom of the day now just to remind the timer as well as everybody else the green card will be shown to you at the 1 minute mark the yellow card will be shown at the 1 minute 30 second mark the red card will be shown at the 2 minute mark and you will have 30 seconds to wrap up your speech right after the red card is flashed okay does anyone want to volunteer to go first yes ma'am i can go okay great can you select a number from 1 to 10 please number 1 WhatsApp serves as a platform for small business owners to market their products and maintain consumer relationships. Once you have noted down your uh, topic, please let me know so I can stop sharing. Yes, market product and okay okay timer kindly share your screen please good evening fellow toast masters um guest sharda can you please confirm if you can see the timer yes i can okay. over to you good luck thank you good evening toast masters topic today's topic is whatsapp serve as a platform for a small business business owner whatsapp in this pandemic whatsapp has become a great platform for everyone whether they are a small business owner or big business owner sitting at home you are getting everything whatever you want on your doorstep since last past one and half years i don't remember to visiting any big mall or any store mega store but everything is available so it is this is a very big platform for business owners because sitting at home 
sitting in their own shop they can increase their volume of the business but how can they do for that they have to they have to do promotions they have to give good uh, advertisement in the newspaper and in social media and they really did wonderful job see anything if you want you just you can just google it and you can go on amazon or any other site and things is things are available at your doorstep so whether it is a big big businessman or a small businessman but whatsapp has given them ample opportunity to grow that's all thank you thank you guest sharda that was wonderful it was so nice uh, you spoke really well and yes whatsapp has proved to be a convenience for all of us in terms of ordering our fruits and vegetables and things of that sort in this pandemic situation would anybody like to volunteer to go next okay then guest sharda i will let you choose someone to go next so uh, sorry for interruption maybe i can uh, nominate myself for next sure okay. sure okay absolutely sorry can you um, it, tell me your name i can't yes. see the screen uh yeah this is pre decide okay cool uh, can you please choose a number from 1 to 10 except 1 i like number 7 okay your topic is some whatsapp groups are more useless than useful okay let have you noted down your topic so i can stop no. sharing allow me for a moment please let me note it down yeah yeah now now you can unshare the screen i had noted Just down one second time of please share your screen Toastmaster Preet, can you confirm if you can see the timer cards? Yeah, I can see the card. Yeah. Okay. Over to you. Good luck. Yeah. So before pandemic, even I was uh, 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 sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, good evening, uh, fellow Toastmaster. Uh, so even before pandemic, even I was in the same uh, group of people who used to think that WhatsApp is useless, completely useless, and that was based on my experience. Actually, even I was part of few of the group. but most of the time what message i used to receive that was like good uh, good morning good evening happy birthday happy anniversary or or maybe forwarded uh, jokes and uh, jo jokes and all yeah so sometime uh, have uh, going through the jokes will you know uh, make you smile and it will release your stress so that was fine but most of the time most of the time most of the group were useless but during pandemic actually what i think uh, these groups a uh, few of the groups where i did uh, uh, where i was also participant uh, those were very useful like uh, i can say uh, having some uh, uh, medical information about like uh, what kind of symptoms are there or how to treat such kind of symptoms is there any home remedy or or whom to contact what are the emergency numbers near the, near your area and so that kind of kind of informations uh, were very useful for me and i'm pretty sure it's not only the 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 group which i belongs and that group which i had experience there are so many groups where so many people are uh, a member of the group so i am pretty sure now nowadays uh, this pandemic had uh, 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 based on this pandemic people had learned a lot and uh, now they must be having a good fruitful contribution to the group to share the useful information to other people which can be used yeah that's it thank you so much one that was wonderful toastmaster preet thank you so much yes whatsapp has indeed helped spread awareness about different things in this pandemic situation in initially when covid started i think most of us were in a state of complete panic and whatsapp share, helped to share awareness about what if something happens and things of that sort thank you so much would anybody like to volunteer to go next uh, i will go next Okay, Toastmaster, Toastmaster Komal. Komal, please, uh, please select a number from one to ten, except one and seven. Uh, I will select number three. Okay. Share which WhatsApp group or personal message is your favorite and why? 
Have you noted down? Please let me know once you've noted it down. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I'm, uh, am I audible and visible? Yeah, just give me one minute. Uh, I'll let the timer share the timer cards, please. Toastmaster Komal, can you confirm if you can see the timer cards? Yes, I can see. Okay, good luck. Over to you. Thank you. So, there are many. Uh, good evening, uh, presiding officer and dear guests, uh, and all my fellow Toastmasters. Uh, there are many WhatsApp groups in which I am part. Uh, most of them are unwanted, and most of them, like, I want to visit every day. So, there is one group from my uh, college friends where we just go and we talk about what we did today, what happened to me in the office. Like uh, there are no office today, but yeah, I can talk like uh, my boss said this to me, my friend, my colleague said this to me, what should I do? So that group, group is amazing. I, I just like to go there, uh, not just gossiping. Uh, after that, we have some good conversation. Like we can, we know uh, we, all of us from technical background, so we can discuss new things like which technology is coming. We discuss something about career. So this is a group where I can uh, uh, invest, you know, invest my time. I can learn more things. I can, uh, I can give my inputs to them. It is not just like uh, sending good morning, good afternoon, good night. Uh, we, we actually do something good on that group. So I like my friends uh, group. That's it on my side. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you to, so much, Toastmaster Komal. That was wonderful. I am just, uh, I'm a college student right now and I hope to make friends who I stay in touch with years later too and talk over WhatsApp. Okay, so does anybody, would anybody like to volunteer to go next? Okay then, Toastmaster Komal, I will let you choose someone to go next. We can ask the Toastmaster Narayan. Okay, Toastmaster Narayan, would you like to go next? Yeah. So, can you please choose a number from one to 10, except one, three, and seven? Uh, four. Sure. WhatsApp has brought us close to people who live far away from us, but has taken us away from those who live close to us. You can share your opinions on this. If yes. you've noted, once you've noted it down, let me know so I can stop sharing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Timer, can you please share your timer cards? Toastmaster Narayan, can you see the timer cards? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, good, over to you Toastmaster, good luck. Thank you. Uh, they are presiding officer, Toastmaster of the day. Hello, Toastmasters and dear guests. Very good evening. Uh, WhatsApp is, and WhatsApp has a lot of advantages, and some disadvantages as well. And uh, what the topic which you have given to me is how WhatsApp brings people close together, but also people uh, who are close to us <coughs> are getting distanced. First, I will uh, dwell upon the people people who we can connect with. Uh, basically, we, now it's the festival season coming up. So we can, the, the, because of this lockdown, we can't go outside. So we have to uh, do this WhatsApp and Zoom meeting, things like that. So this will help us to uh, capture the moments which we are doing in our day-to-day, -day, whatever uh, pujas and festivals, which we are celebrating at home. So by that we can uh, we can uh, uh, <clears throat> we can click photos and capture the live moments and take some videos so that we can share through WhatsApp to all our family members or relatives who are away from our home. And this will enable us to uh, enable us to get closer to them and uh, give them the feeling of what is happening at our home. So that because of this lockdown, we can't go, we can't go there here and there, and uh, even masks are to be worn. 
So it is uh, more or less uh, uh, pandemic situation is still exists. So it's uh, difficult to go there and uh, chat with them and have a nice, uh, nice get together. So this is uh, this is the advantage of this uh, WhatsApp group and what and etc. But uh, usually uh, nowadays we are not going home, going to office from working from home because of that. Uh, we usually chat with uh, family members too with, the, with this uh, WhatsApp application. And uh, certainly it has created some distance, but in my case, I don't do that. So I think the WhatsApp, the advantages are more and it is very good for everyone. Thank you very much. Over to your table topics, Master. Thank you so much, Toastmaster. That was wonderful. Yes, WhatsApp has indeed been a boon and a bane, but definitely more advantages for all of us in this kind of a situation. I think we have time for one more uh, table topic speaker to go. Does anyone want to volunteer? Okay. I will go. Okay, Toastmaster Aditi, you can choose a number from 1 to 10, except 1, 3, 4, and 7. 9. Okay. WhatsApp is better than any other e-communication app. You can discuss for or against the statement. Please let me know once you've noted it down. Timer, kindly share your timer cards, please. Okay. Toastmaster Aditi, can you see the timer cards? Yes. Okay, over to you, Toastmaster Aditi. Good luck. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster. Uh, so uh, I think WhatsApp is better than any e-communication app because we all are used to WhatsApp. And there are many uh, apps come later on, like uh, Messenger and uh, I think one more Telegram. But still we are using WhatsApp because we are very much uh, comfortable and compatible with a WhatsApp. And uh, I think therefore, uh, whenever I have to use uh, uh, any app or for any communication, so I, uh, I, generally use WhatsApp. And it is, I think uh, many people use the WhatsApp only. So uh, it is very e easy to use uh, WhatsApp using a just one click, you can send a message or anything. Uh, and we can exchange the things across the people. So it is a very easy way to use. And therefore, uh, because of its uh, easiness, uh, I feel that WhatsApp is very comfortable and uh, easy to use. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Aditi. That was wonderful. I think WhatsApp is probably one of the most used app, at least on my phone. I don't know about others, but I surely use it a lot. So with that, we come to the end of our table topic session for today. Thank you for thank you to everybody who took part, and I hope you enjoyed it. Timer, I would like you to confirm once if every every speaker has qualified for uh, the time constraints that are there. Yes, I'm happy to inform that all the speakers are qualified. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Timer. That's wonderful. I really enjoyed listening to everybody talk today, and I'm really happy to see everybody taking charge of improving their impromptu speaking skills. Congratulations, and over to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kushren. Yeah, I was expecting something else that topics would be something else. Topics would be different, but you chose the topics that are related to my theme. And thank you. I would like to share my gratitude to you for this. Great. This will give good lessons to the audience as the role players that how WhatsApp is essential in life. As per in our meeting, our club rule, we have a break of two or three minutes in between. Before that, I would like to explain you one more example of leadership. Quality of leadership. What is leadership? Leadership is to motivate, is to handle the members 
and persons all together how we can motivate them how we can persuade them we should have that much confidence that which we should motivate them we should be self confident we should not fear of public speaking we should not fear of taking risks how whatsapp can make leaders this is the good example that i am going to give during physical mode we fear that anyone can interrupt anyone can disturb us during the whatsapp mode when we talk over the voice calls or over the zoom meetings we conduct through online we can see blur faces through the cameras we fear how whatsapp is that we cannot see the faces and hence a speaker or a role or any person who is afraid of speaking afraid of public speaking is not able to see the face hence he sees he assumes that he is talking to a wall and he goes on speaking communication does not lack only the thing which lack is body language and eye contact and facial expression there is no change in communication hence leaders can be created by one by one from small to bigger and they can volunteer they can be an admin of any group and they can volunteer their team is this to do this for example volunteers are present in our toast master who volunteer to what's who volunteer by giving details and notification to other teams these are the volunteers more and more volunteers are created and encouraged only due to whatsapp okay now we will have a break of only through 3 minutes only 3 minutes will meet at 17526 i request all to sit in the meeting only of 3 minutes we have break and later we'll proceed with the interesting evaluation sessions where evaluators will be evaluating all the speakers let's have the break toastmaster santosh over to you thank you thank you toastmaster of day i request let's we take the 3 minute break we have 526 so we will meet again 529 right Toshmas says, "Can we start?" Yes. Sure. sure. So Toshmas says, "Before moving uh, next session, uh, please allow me to release the poll. Can yeah. we do it? Yeah. Yeah, we can poll. Okay. So this is a best speaker, prepared speaker. I'm launching the poll. Please vote the speakers. thank you thank you and uh, one more poll need to launch that is your uh, yeah. table topic speaker so let me so here is your best table topic speaker please vote
Thank you. You can proceed. Thank you so much, Master Santosh. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Now we are back to our interesting meeting for the exciting theme. Let me have the last and the best example for the WhatsApp. WhatsApp motivates us to communicate more and more, even with the nationwide of foreigners. We cannot feel or experience that we are speaking to someone else who is of higher rank, higher position. We just speak with them, we go on and carry on speaking with them. Now, this is how WhatsApp benefits us. I'll be back to give more conclusions of the WhatsApp and more lessons how WhatsApp is useful in our day-to-day -day life. Proceeding with the last session of this meeting, it is evaluation session. For evaluations, I have three evaluators who are going to evaluate these three speakers. Let's see. Now, coming towards the general evaluator who will be taking the evaluation sessions, I'll be calling up general evaluator Shri Shravan Toastmaster. Can you come on the stage to proceed with your tag team as well as evaluators? Yes. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Saish. Yeah, as there is a saying, feedback is the breakfast of the champion. Be ready to serve your, to have your breakfast. Without any further delay, I would like to call the first evaluator for the speaker one. Yeah. So, am I audible and visible? Okay. Presiding officer, uh, uh, the time before going ahead, timer, could you please confirm? Timer screen. Yes, I'll be sharing. Is it visible? Yeah, it's there. Good. So, presiding officer, fellow Toastmaster, and dear guests, uh, good evening. And special good evening to my target speaker, uh, Toastmaster Aditi. Uh, congratulations. It's uh, great to see the spices and the festival. What a great combination. It's a lockdown is open, and it's not a WhatsApp. Uh, theme. It's a real lockdown is open and the festivals are also open as well as the spices what Aditi inculcated that with this that is really amazing. I love that. That's you exceed the to great opening with that Aditi. Another thing I love that you engage the audience. You ask which is the favorite one uh, favorite one the festival and that's the you attach or you engage the audience with uh, your topic of the speech and your topic was that's already i said it's uh, amazing that festivals of the india and that you did a great engagement because everybody loved to be festival and you already demonstrated that what are the benefits of that so that's uh, another great point and last one you gave the benefits of those you shared in that your speech that what are the benefits of each festivals from the ancestor, from the joy, from the even events. Uh, particularly, I would say you specified for the Gudi Padwa as well as for the Ganesh enjoyment, Ganesh uh, festival. So th that's really loving and engaging. Coming back to point, definitely. Uh, there is nothing, um, there is always important for the feedback or recommendation. So I would like to recommend you that the, the structure, basically structure where uh, your speech structure will make a huge difference or when you are delivering. You narrated all the festivals, but uh, it, it, I would have, uh, or uh, audience would have loved that if they have been structured well and you could have given the, uh, real benefit to them with a right target for the like categories of the festival and the one or two from the choosing that because that is one of the objective of the speech too as well and another point i uh, i would like to uh, give you the uh, give that uh, basically the whatever the voice modulation or voice was uh, it, it would have been better if you would have practiced and that, that could have given you the more benefit because that voice was 
uh, vibrating in so you solicitly you need to do the practice and deliver that that will add the benefit along the line of the festivals or uh, with what we enjoyed similarly in the um, in the line of that and uh, concluding uh, to evaluation basically my uh, suggestion was you you have done the great job selection of the topic as well as opening unity in unity in diversity you gave the message as well as uh, you try to give the uh, engagement from uh, different different festival narrating all the 12 festivals in your speeches so in your speech that that's the added value over to you or uh, general evaluator and you, definitely you will enjoy that thank uh, you kevin peter one without any further delay i would like to call upon evaluator to the virtual stage is all yours am i visible and audible Am I visible and audible? Can anybody confirm? Yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. Thank you. So, good evening, all. So, like booster helps engine to increase the vehicle efficiency. Similar way, presentation software helps to enrich the speech experience. So. exactly same way uh, my target speaker manisha has delivered the speech on stress bring it on so overall you have connected very well with the audience through this speech vocal variety your flow of the speech structure of the speech your confidence level design of the slides especially uh, overall uh, you did amazing job on this page now i have few recommendation on this so you have mentioned heading date numbers in the slide very well and it looks okay but when in your uh, when you open the slide uh, when you show get the slide first so all the headers and everything was a right aligned and it is rapid up so when you their subject is coming the next slide where enter slide you have enter slide slide space so you can use that uh, overall space and just make it in one line so it is more uh, you know uh, connected properly with the audience another thing is uh, some of the slides were really good like earlier slide like what is the stress and potential factors so those three to four slides are good but few slides like hobbies and another few slides were related to that you have put lot of pictures in it so that is something which you need to you can take care next time because uh, it looks like a poster than a slide so here we are um, you should connect with the audience so rather than uh, putting lot of pictures you can just put three or four pictures and put uh, some content that will make more appealing and at last you have uh, played a song and after immediately after that you uh, say the thank you and close the speech so rather than that you can just uh, I'll, i'll say a few words for at the end of your speech after playing the song so it will be you know good for our audience to connect so that you can avoid other thing is you can use the presenter view when you are uh, giving speech that will avoid uh, overall this thing and i see lot of contents are copied so overall idea of this speech is to uh, you create your own content even slide not just copy from uh, sources so i see lot of uh, places in lot of slides you mention that uh, it's copied from somewhere and license uh, you know images and everything so i suggest to create your own content that would help that is the whole objective of this speech but overall uh, flow speech and content were very good you connected with the audience and uh, your flow including uh, you know topic and uh, detailed uh, explanation on that particular slide was really uh, commendable so yeah good job well done uh, best of luck for your next speech thank you
Thank you, evaluator, for the quiz report. I would like to call upon the stage for evaluation three for the speaker three. Check, check. Am I clearly audible and visible? Thank you. First of all, I would like to encourage everyone to give a big round of applause for our speaker three breaking the ice too. Toastmaster Sanjay, the way you started the speech, you sounded so able. You are very relaxed, calm, and have a good composure. Your energy levels were very good. One way is by using what I like to call the energy shifts. You have a very good energy shifts throughout the speech. The way you narrated, you portrayed in our mind with beautiful words and vivid descriptions. Starting the journey, you know, like little kids. You showed us a lot of memories with grandparents. Then you said about your school love. You went back to where you became topper in 10th and the engineering journey. It is like a typical way you connect with the audience. You establish the connection in a very good manner. The flow is so natural from starting to ending. You went in a similar pace. I really like the way, you know, you are using the gestures in the appropriate positions. Although the uh, space constraint may be less, but you had a movement. And, you know, when you are highlighting certain things like a grandparents, you know, you came towards the camera or you changed your position so that, you know, to contrast with the memories that you want to convey to the audience. That is a really nice job. Perfection is not attainable, but we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Let's see what you can do to make your speech from good to great. I would say the best way to make sure your engaging audience is think along the lines of enjoying stage time, leaving you free to interact more. Make that interaction. You see, you are, when the, by the time you complete the speech, you still have some seconds left, which means you can utilize that by decreasing your pace and having interaction with audience. Like you asked the questions, you might have something like a school love. Now that is something, you know, creates the audience, the recollecting memories, similar kind of things. The, you, it makes the audience, you know, to engage yourself because your intro is very high. Like uh, you are area director, this and that, it, the intro went so high. But an icebreaker means it is like a, we are learning from you, about you. So in this kind of scenario, when you get so much of intro, make sure you interact more with the audience. And second, I would say vocal variety. I felt vocal variety is a little bit of solitary because vocal variety is something that communicates our image. Make sure you have a shift over there. That's it from my end. Over to you, general evaluator. Thank you, evaluator. I request everyone in this meet, please give a big round of applause for the three evaluators and the speakers because they did a fabulous job and congratulations for everyone. Yeah. Without any further delay, it's my team. To call upon the stage, I would like to call Timer. Thank you, General Evaluator. So I'll be sharing my timing report. Uh, for, for the prepared speech section, Toastmaster Aditi took seven minutes, six seconds. Toastmaster Manisha took six minutes, 30 seconds. Toastmaster Sanjay took six minutes and 12 seconds. All are qualified, congratulations. And along the lines of this, all the table uh, topic speakers are also qualified. Uh, guest Sharda Daga took one minute, 40 seconds. Uh, Toastmaster Prit took one minute, 42 seconds. Toastmaster Komal took one minute, 15 seconds. Toastmaster Narayanan took two minutes, 18 seconds. And Toastmaster Aditi took one minute and 15 seconds. Uh, for the evaluation section, uh, Toast, uh, Toastmaster Avinash took 3 minutes 27 seconds. Toastmaster Divesh took 
थ्री मिनट्स ट्वेंटी सेवन सेकेंड्स एंड टोस्ट मास्टर वाम से टूक थ्री मिनट्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स ऑल आर क्वालिफाइड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन एवरीवन थैंक यू ओवर टू यू जनरल इवेल्यूएटर थैंक यू टाइमर थैंक यू फॉर योर रिपोर्ट एंड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट मी कॉल अपॉन आर काउंटर फॉर दिस मीटिंग सो हेलो देयर एवरीवन एंड माय आर काउंटर रिपोर्ट इज रेडी सो स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विद द सर्जेंट एट आर्म्स टोस्ट मास्टर दिव्येश he had one a the presiding officer toastmaster santosh had one a toastmaster divyesh the evaluator number 2 had three us the timer had one a and two us toastmaster avinash the first evaluator had five plus us toastmaster aditi the first speaker had five plus us again Toastmaster Manisha Saxena, speaker number two, had one a. Toastmaster Vamsi, the third evaluator, had one a. Toastmaster Kushrin had two a's. Guest uh, uh, Shuda Dag Shuda Daga, I am I apologize if I pronounce Shraddha Daga sorry, had one so. Toastmaster Preet Shah had one a. And five plus us. Toastmaster Komal had two us. Toastmaster Narayan had five plus us. And the flawless speakers were Toastmaster Sri Shravan, Toastmaster of the Day Saish, and Toastmaster Sanjay. A big round of applause for all three of them. I hand it back to you, Toastmaster Sri Shravan. Thank you. Thank you. So. Now we will call upon the stage for the English report. Over to you, Ward Master Jamaria. Thank you, General Valuter, and good evening again. This time I am <clears throat> presenting my language report. I saw that word of day and phrase of day little bit less used. Reason that might be I publish. this word of day and this word of day and phrase of day a little bit late on the agenda so let me call who use the word of day and phrase of day toast master says use one time word of day toast master wamsi use one time phrase of day and toast master harsha harshita use one time phrase of day if somebody used and i miss the name please uh please please send me their name so that i can note down or announce over here now move on the good uses so today good uses i have you i have noted first enthusiasm celebration in the years obstacle dispel dispel means that uh, doubt mouth watering animate matter in urgency confine conquer not nutshell no gain without pain ample opportunities and been and boon not so good uses now uh, in term of the language and the context of the language somebody said said install ganpati on the home so there is nothing wrong with the language point of view but i think that we should we should mention like that bring ganesha ganpati in our home in term of the contest install is something that uh, like in little bit mechanical and someone said i have prepared topic table topics so it could as a, as per grammar point of view it should i have prepared table topic means that we have to use third form of the prepare with this over to general walita thank you thank you word master jamerian now it's my time to evaluate every role player starting from the zoom master i will come with the word master jamerian because he is the zoom master he is the presiding officer taking up three roles in one meet is not an easy job it's not a cake piece of cake he spotlighted every single speaker on the virtual screen whenever required kudos on that and you interacted with guest when beginning on the meeting 
it's a great job done by you and coming to the word master gamer and role you did very well you explained the word of the day it's an executive how to use it also you interacted you take an example from the participant it's very good so and coming to the sergeant atom sergeant atom started the meeting at the correct time but it, i felt it like an uh, interactive session it was very awesome fabulous job by you sergeant atom because the, i felt this is the first this is an offline session this was the first meeting i felt like that but the only thing i felt is your voice was somewhat low at the beginning of the meeting your voice should be high because that will be a great energy for the meet and coming to the toast master of the day there is nothing to say about it what's up man it's helped me a lot because i it's my study room it's my everything nowadays and the only suggestion i give is you use this kind of hand gestures a lot whenever required use it but you use this a lot and coming to the evaluators every evaluator did i felt that there is a correlation between the speaker and evaluator because their evaluation is a great job and coming to the timer timer you did a fabulous job by noting the time but it would be better better or rather you choose the original timer card from the ta portal because revealing the time before your report is not a required thing and try to use excel sheet because you can submit it later to the po and that's only that's the only thing you did and everything was fabulous and coming to the counter yeah you did the same great job and i suggest you to use the excel sheet for the future reference and sorry if i forget anyone and congrats for everyone who participated in me. thank you and over to you toast much of the day yeah yeah sorry i forgot to mention about the table topic session it was awesome and i suggest the table topic master to you somewhat short length of the topics because it would be easy to understand and catch up thank you thank you so much general evaluator sri shravan as you handled your tag team as well as evaluation team now some coming towards the end of the session i would like to uh, you... sorry sorry for interrupting uh, with your respect with your respect can we launch the poll uh, yeah we shall launch evaluation. the poll yeah. for best evaluator please watch thank you and one more poll we have auxiliary role player <clears throat> it is nothing but helper role player helping role helping role players like this so best auxiliary role player are toastmaster divesh toastmaster santosh timer toastmaster harshida and our counter toastmaster avidit please cast your vote thank you and uh, we have one more poll for best role player main role player so these are toastmaster says toastmaster khusrin and toastmaster sri savan thank you over to toastmaster says thank you so much toastmaster santosh and all of you do remember that communication can never be stopped as there is a will there is a way as hence a whatsapp is a gift for all of us as per this proverb hence we can communicate with each other at any time 
anywhere, any place. Okay, so always remember, you should try many creative ways for communication. Even if lockdown, you should not be disappointed. Okay, thank you. And all the lessons which I have given you, do remember that communication will never be stopped and we shall try communicating. And WhatsApp is the best example for communication, how it is pathway to our communication. With this, I'm done with it to this theme now. I would hand over presiding officer to declare the winners. Thank you and over to you. Second. Give me a second. I was busy with preparing the certificate. Allow me a second, yes. I hope all you enjoy the meeting. If I see your WhatsApp, I enjoy this meeting a lot. I enjoy all speeches, role players, and evaluation reports. And especially today, I enjoy musical speech and a lot of take away from today's session. And thank you very much, all speakers, all role players, evaluators, and guests make this meeting perfectly amazing. So now time for a moment of glory. And here is the award and winner. Believe me, all these awards and winner based on your vote you cast. So let's start with best prepared speaker, Toastmaster Sanjay. Congratulations, Toastmaster Sanjay. Anyone can pick this picture? Yeah, I'm taking just a pin. And just a second and make, where is the Sanjay? Yes. Congratulations, Sanjay. Well done. Yeah, done. Thank you. Now time to move. Best, my sorry, best, best stable topic speaker, guest Sarda. Congratulations, guest Sarda. You spoke very well on how. Can someone pin her? Yes. Give me a second. I think. Guest Sarda of her camera. Guest Sarda, could you uh, on your camera? I think she's. Guest she's... Sarda, you are in mute. No issue. Let's move another. Now, time to announce West Evaluators. So let's see. Toastmaster Wasi. Can you just listen, Wam. Toastmaster Wasi? Wamsi. Wam Wamsi. My apology to pronounce your name. Wamsi. Let me. Yes, yes. I'm searching. Can. Thank you. And congratulations, Toastmaster Wamsi. Now, time to announce role player. 
and best role player toastmaster size nice and thank you to telling us various features of whatsapp so where is the size one done thank you and congratulations toastmaster size you you play really well in your role and uh, auxiliary role player thank you to thank you your uh, appreciation with this on let one me one. yeah done with this the time another kind of the evaluation to take the feedback from the our guest so today we have so many uh, toastmaster guest so i would request especially all toastmaster guests to share your feedback about this meeting and this club so let us start with the toastmaster wa wasmi sorry i am pronouncing your name again and again wrong again and again hi it's fine because it's a rare scenario someone calls me vamsi <laughs> majority will say vamsi they put a h in between there <laughs> i get it happens i mean that is a little bit of my name my name is very pretty much big you see i just kept the only vamsi there i really enjoyed the meeting you know uh, so I, i used to meet sai a couple of times but i never had got the chance to come to this club because i was always engaged with one or other meeting going here and there and because of this online uh, <laughs> i can go anywhere right so i am going beyond the country here and there so i could got uh, excited now after long time you know i got opportunity to be part of this club meeting i really enjoyed each and every aspect there is a coordination and you can see pickups will be there but we are all are learning that is the important aspect of toastmasters no one is perfect some you know technology some you know other things it all happens the thing is we learn exchange the knowledge between each other it doesn't matter we joined today to master or we joined 10 years back we are interacting with each other we are you know exchanging thoughts and improving ourselves and this meeting is a solid proof of that everything the team coordination you know how they are interacting after you know taking the pauses breaks you know, everything it is well maintained in a proper structure and it is going accordingly if something happens immediately one or other team member is coming to help the and aid that person now that is what the true essence of toastmaster is and the club is doing a fantastic job kudos to you thank you thank you toastmaster thank you toastmaster and uh, now we have uh, uh, our toastmaster guest toastmaster sri sarvan could you share your feedback yes thank you uh, as i said i am toastmaster sri sarvan from srk toastmaster club which is located in andhra pradesh bhimavaram uh, it is an students club Think some of them are aware of coming to the meeting feedback. I felt of euphoria of this meeting because there are great speakers of experience. I felt, and there is a lot of interaction in this meeting. I felt it true in, in this meeting. I felt that there is an interaction because I never felt such kind of interaction is there in any meeting which I was attended, and uh, that's it. And I would like to take many roles in this. club yeah thank, thank you. you thank you to smarter servan and welcome and we will love to see you in various role in this club and uh, now guest sharda are you there are you around there i think she is not still here and uh, so now we we can talk our table topic master toast master serene she cousins my, my apology cousin hi thank you so much for having me this was the first time that i joined your club and it was really nice there was a there was a uh, an atmosphere of mutual encouragement for everybody this is the first time that i took up the role of table topics master so i guess it was a bit of a trial and error kind of a thing for me also but i think you guys worked with me even if i went wrong at a few places and thank you so much 
for be for like encouraging me to go ahead and take up a role and you everybody so warm and welcoming over here it's really great and your club is fantastic thank you i would thank you to small christine and uh, time to yes please uh, have a word a uh, toast master at which who played our counter role uh yes hello uh now i live in pune and i think i've been a toast master since 2019 and since then i've heard that there's a toast masters club in bane and i think i was always a little bit curious to visit this club and so today i got to fulfill that uh, desire it was great attending this meeting and it was also good to see uh, saish i remember uh, seeing him during the mit toastmasters days and right now i see that he has massively improved so that's really good for him and i must also say uh, baner has also done really good at and starting and ending the meeting and on time it's something which is uh, like many clubs <laughs> can't do that so that's really good for you guys that's all thank you thank you toast master advit for for your feedback and the words for the toast for money toast master club and we are really happy to feature on our club on this role and we want to see you again again in this role and welcome to again <clears throat> so this time to say adjourn the meeting uh, and yeah group. Please, yeah it's a group picture this time for the group picture so please op- on your camera so that we can capture nice moment and make it long lasting this must is saish Are you there? Okay, done. Okay, thank you, thank you, Toastmaster Vinas. And my apology, I did ask uh, Toastmaster uh, Harshita for the feedback and their word, her word. So please share your feedback, Harshita. Yeah, hi. Uh, this is my uh, first meeting in Banner Toastmaster Club. and i'm from uh, bibravari toastmaster club uh, new by toastmaster and this is my second time i have done timer role and i got a chance uh, to play it again and got a chance to improve a bit uh, more in the same in the role timer role so i'm very thankful to uh, toastmasters for uh, inviting me for the role and i enjoyed this meeting a lot i enjoyed all the amazing speeches and of course a theme a whatsapp uh, like it, there is not a single day when we don't use whatsapp so very living example and we all can relate to it so yeah i enjoyed it a lot everything uh, speaker table topic speeches evaluations and uh, this was very good learning opportunity for me all over thank you thank so you, much thank you thank you harshita and it's nice to see you in this meeting and you really done a great job in as a timer so with this uh, i am going to i am announced to adjourn this meeting and open for fellowship let me stop the recording first